Let's do this episode real quick. You guys ready? Relax. Yeah. What is this amateur hour? I'm blacker than the ace of spades and more militant than you and your whole damn army put together. Why you out there chanting that rather browbeating politicians? I'm taking out any money fucking sucker on a humble that gets in my way. So I'll tell you what. When your so called revolution starts, you call me. And I'll be right down front showing you how it's done. But until then, you need to shut the fuck up when grown folks is talking. Now can you dig it? Ladies, gentlemen, and scholars, the world's first quantumino powered podcast live from the Daddy Juice Energy Studio in the Beta Curtain District, your scholar players, Gemini Jackson and Arthur Dude. Welcome, welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and of course, you scholars. I'm your fearless and greasy host, Gemini Jackson, some of the Quantimino with one quarter of four dudes in a booth, Arthur Dude. Howdy, ninjas. The nefarious yellow panda foxtrot and the burrito bandita join us via Jitsi on the other side of the glory hole, but first, a word from our sponsors. I know you're home alone. I know what you've been up to. Want your wife to know some fetishes you have, like catoprotonophilia or fornophilia? You need those secrets to be safe. There are chicken heads running all over the place, so get yours, but get protection because you don't know where those hoes have been. Crazy times call for crazy protection. Prepare yourself for an incognito mode that will make a frog say, Neato. Neato. Hit up foxbox.com or call 1-800-669-FBOX. Use promo code BARBACOA to get your feet straight and your ass covered from tip to taint. Let's talk about it, fellas. Catoptronophilia. Something, something uh, Korean videos. Jesus. I don't know. It has Some something BJ's, to do with like huh? watching yourself, but you're Korean using videos, a, Tron. You're using and, a, an object to um, watch yourself. K- Kato's the name of the guy from uh, from Green Hornet. Also, there you Kalen. Go. Bruce also, Lee was also Green Hornet. Kato Kalen. Kato Kalen. Kato Kalen. Oh, yeah. Tron. He killed, he killed that one lady. What? Yeah, right? He did it, right? You need to sit your little six hands <laughs> down. You got it. Are you watching the new murder mystery thing? Oh yeah. Fuck. Oh, I did. Shit. I did watch something. Are you oh, a detective okay. now? I got it. <laughs> I got it. Are you a detective? A little bit, part time, for twenty nine ninety five. But get this. There's this. Uh, there's this show, Sour Grapes. It's a documentary on wine. And this Indonesian brother that, that scammed one. all these it. dudes out there money! How much money? Millions of dollars! <laughs> hundreds of millions of dollars! And this he is just wine, right? Wine. Wine. He, was, he was counterfeiting wine. He was finding all these old ass wines and like making fake labels and putting them on that shit and then mixing uh, like this, uh, the kangaroo shit in Franzia and shaking it up oh, and man. putting it in a bottle. Bullshit! Damn. $10,000! Twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, this was like auction. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars. People go to auctions to get this. And wine. Th- he did like tens of thousands of bottles of wine. Holy at those, shit! At those prices. And he was like respected by that wine community. Yeah, and he was. <laughs> oh shit! He was on the end. Yeah. Damn, but he's probably going to jail now, right? He had a mysterious nine pass. years. That's not too bad, I guess, for living. <laughs> living large. Yeah. If he was smart, he, you know, he like stowed some of that shit away. And you know what his name was? Uh, when I tell you this first name, you're gonna be like, man, that dude is Indonesian. Oh, bitch. Catatronophilia. <laughs> <laughs> Did your internet Damn. come out again? No, he's been here, man. He's green. <laughs> oh, that's his first name. He's Rudy. <laughs> Rudy. Rudy, dude. <laughs> yeah. Homeboy's name is Rudy. Like R O O T Y? Jesus. It's just R U D Y, but it's a common name. It just Rudy. feels very Indonesian to me. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, guys. What was the other one? Fornophilia? Wait, no. What, Where, what we didn't we even, haven't solved it. Something about a masturbating to a mirror. Masturbating to a mirror. Yeah, it's like that. It's definitely like the mirror is part of your fling. Your. Looking at your own butthole? Your fetish. You could do, yeah, it's just involving a mirror with what you're doing. Oh, shit. Just freaking with a mirror? I mean, it's part of the, like, whole experience. 
Which part? part of the, it's part of the package. The yeah. best part? Can't do without it. It's your fetish. If you got, yeah, if you got that, you can't. Is that do why they put it. the mirror on the ceiling? That's yeah. why they put mirrors everywhere. That's what this. That's why the end about. of Enter the Dragon is all about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna go there. And then you have the uh, that, the billions of copies, man. Somebody. That's what. Somebody's that's why jams is being in that mirror in that room. Somebody's oh. jams is being in that room. They probably built that in their garage or in their house. Yeah. And they got gag on it. Fuck. <laughs> they just got. Oh, that sounds so crazy. That sounds okay. like next level. Yeah. That's Forn stuff you don't come back from. Yeah, Fornophilia. You know <laughs> Fornophilia also has to... It, it also involves objects. Is it corn? <laughs> it sounds like porn, corn? corn? No. Corn. 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 Or is, that, or is that just cornophilia? Probably just cornophilia. Yeah. That's uh, fornophilia right. is... The word that it's about kind of sounds like that. Oh. <laughs> But just change up the vowel. Fern? I was thinking you were talking like to vegetation. That, yeah, it's a, that's the like, sound. Fern. Mm. Fern? Yeah. And it's three syllables. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, man. Yeah, I also <laughs> sell don't. it on TV all the time. And you, no down payment. 60 months, same as cash. Furniture? Yeah. Cars? Oh. Oh, furniture? fucking with furniture? Oh, human furniture. Human furniture? Human? Yeah, like in Clockwork Orange. Oh, I see. Oh. Like bitches as tables. They like tables and chairs and shit. No, they like people that are in the position of tables They and like chairs. people to be their chairs and tables. Oh, you know about ah, Barophilia yeah. Burrito? Yeah, he been there. No, I, I, I got context clues. Okay. Oh, well, that's sure. why he got that nice ass chair. Yeah, man. We were talking about that desk chair his for weeks. His context shit. clues is his browser history. <laughs> that's your context clues. F O R. What was the first thing that came up? Everything. Anybody have anything cool or exciting happen this week <laughs> since we last discussed <laughs> The week just this? started, man. Yeah, you're right. It just motherfucking started. I got a Godzilla. You what? got a Godzilla. I got there a new go. Godzilla in, All right, in the unbox mail. Unbox it. Let's yeah. see it. Burrito you show and tell. Number well, these? Do you catalog oh these? It's in the other room. Oh. Get it, man. Just get it. Uh, you got time. Yeah. I got to see this thing. We ain't going to talk shit it. about you while you're gone. We ain't going to talk shit. Okay, let's talk that, shit about him. That sound <laughs> He's chair. gone. Look at that chair. It looks really that got... chair is a person. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like it's been used for target practice. Is that Godzilla flying in the back or is he like humping that thing yeah, in front of Yeah, no, him? that's Godzilla humping another Godzilla in front of him who's blowing yes. another Godzilla, right? I think that so. That silver Godzilla in the middle is the main event of a Godzilla gangbang. You are a smelly pirate. <laughs> of a god gangbang. God's gangbang. Here we go. Oh shit! It's, it's still in the. It's still in the plastic. Whoa. Unbox it. Oh, Unbox shit. it. Yeah. Keep it in the plastic. Shit. It's collectors. He's got this the is only on fan it. shit. Yeah. This is only fans. Is he blue? It is blue. What? He's from, um, He's from uh, Godzilla 1980. Japan, right? 1984. 1984? <clears throat> like an Orwellian Godzilla? I think it was called 1984. This is Godzilla remember. of end times, guys. But this is, uh, oh yeah, 1984. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Vagina. Damn. Um, it's when they made like an animatronic Godzilla for the first time. Uh -huh. So they call him the Cybot. Okay. And, Cybot. Uh, yeah. But they don't make uh, versions of this guy. I have a question. Yeah. How do you feel when you have to when you take it out? Do you like taking it out of the protection? Uh, or yeah. Do you like, I, like, I, how do you I, feel I, about it? Do you does your heart kind of you're like fuck? Skip man. a beat. No, no. Actually, the the Godzilla collecting community, the Sofubi <laughs> community. I'm sorry, um, but what? Sofubi. Sofubi. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, it's no, short for ahead. soft. No, we soft got vinyl. it. Okay. <clears throat> they, no, wait, uh, but yeah, does it take a long time before you're like on a, you know? On no, your back? but I, like I, I, I literally just got it. Um, I, wait, what? I don't know what he's asking. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> no, I know, I know exactly what he's asking. Like, just take his questions. The first question was, how long does it take before your heart skips a beat? <laughs> 
<laughs> and then how long does it take until you're on your back? <laughs> Getting crazy with that Godzilla. <laughs> you taking it out the plastic. <laughs> Are you going to take it out the plastic? Is that your thing? The Safubi community I mean, don't frown I, on it. Yeah, I could see like the collection that's out of box behind you, but... Yeah, no, they, they really don't care. There's no value um, to the plastic, they say. <clears throat> is yeah, that what yeah, they, they say? Oh, there isn't. Like, what no. is the price it? difference? If that was mint in a collector's box with a grade, how much would that one be compared to one that's loose? $32 versus $32.50. Just, just, there's generally no difference. Wow. They're not into like mint in box kind of stuff. No shit. They don't care about yeah. dead stock. Yeah. That's crazy. What they care about is. Born of feeling. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else have anything exciting? That was very exciting. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> well, nope. That was Burrito spilling the beans. He spilled the beans on some spilled Godzilla the scene. He pulled some back Godzilla the Godzilla scenes? He yeah. told me something that I learned this week. He pulled back the curtain, or perhaps the foreskin, exposing Somebody. the truth of a. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I watched Mulan. Oh, you oh, traitor shit. ass motherfucker. So did I. You both traitor what? ass bitches. <laughs> China done got you. They done got half a slam city. I didn't pay my 30 bucks, though. Nobody did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. Oh! What? Well, I mean, was yeah. it good? How was it? Was you it an worth honest citizen over here? I bought it before you gave me the link. Yeah. What, huh? Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't give you the You beeped you the beep! <laughs> oh, shit! Not <laughs> that rewind it, man! <laughs> I bought it. I beeped it before you beeped me the beep. Did you get that dump button? Yeah. Dang, so, like a sucker. <laughs> oh, you know, but there's some good cast members in there that like I thought Like a sucker was. MC. Nah, oh, man. Is <laughs> Jet Li in there? Jet Li is in I there! Jet Li is in there! He totally is in there! Yeah. That spoiler made it a little alert. bit cooler, man, but... The, is this part, alert. like, The really OG small? Bruce Lee story, Jason Scott Lee's in there! Dang, the Jungle Book Jason Dang, Scott Lee? Yeah! OG? That guy? Yeah. Dang. But he's, oh, all, he's like older now. I haven't watched that movie in a long time. He plays Simba. Dragon. I feel like I feel like also this may have been a surprise cameo because I didn't know she was in it, but Ming Na Wen makes an appearance as well. Ming Na Wen. Explain. I saw that Doodle. on the on the credits list, but I don't remember who she is. Um, at like the very end, when, where she wait, wait, introduces. Wait. Before that, who is huh? she? She's Chun Li in Street Fighter. Ming Na Wen. Chun Li in Street Fighter. She thick? I don't think so. Is she? Just say she like is. The, like Chung Lee? No. She's the voice of the animated Mulan. Oh, okay. Oh. But she's also well, like she's oh, also like you wouldn't sense. ignore like you wouldn't know what she looked like. Yeah, Chun Lee yeah, and Street well, Fighter. She, she's, she's in Agents of Shield. She was in The Mandalorian. Say like, Street Fighter. She's in she's in a lot. Is she in Street, Street Fighter? Fighter? Yeah, she no. is! The Van Damme one? She totally is. She plays Chun Lee in there. <laughs> oh, that's her? Yeah. No See? Foxtrot knows who she is now. <laughs> yeah, no man. I'm gonna look it up. Look it up! <laughs> look it up and share with the class. Damn. Art's, Art's serious <clears throat> about this. Look that's it the up. only movie I know her in. Chun Lee from Street terrible. Fighter. The, uh, the, <laughs> on, the but... Van Damme. Yeah, the Van Damme Street Fighter. Is there any other Street Fighters? <laughs> She's Chun There's a Sunny Chiba. Oh, no, Sunny right. Chiba, the Street Fighter. Did you learn that this week? I, that's what I learned this week. Dang, that's she a good way to start the week. Thanks, guys. Street Fighter. Fuck, man. But yeah, but my heart really goes to Gong Lee, so you know. Dude, are you spoiling? No. <laughs> we spoiled as much as we needed to to make, <clears throat> get you to watch it. I'm not gonna watch it. You will eventually. Eventually. Yeah. When China rules over us, I gotta watch it as part of my indoctrination. <laughs> That's your orientation. <laughs> is that what's gonna? Is that what's yeah. gonna happen? Mandatory, Mandatory they make watch you of Mulan and for every hour you haven't watched Mulan since they took over, uh -huh. you gotta watch Mulan for the and rest then, of your life. Well, for every hour you didn't watch it, what? And it takes at least an hour to watch it. It's gonna be a lifetime so, for you until you learn the way of the Mulan. All right, what I have for lunch. Sponsored by Julio Tejas Financial Advisors. When you gotta move some weight, oh, uh, wait. Julio will help you diversify your holdings. Flat rate, 
Oh, it's great. Julio gets it done. Call Julio Tejas today. Or I'll regret it tomorrow. Julio Tejas. Julio had a cold on that ad read. All right. <laughs> Who With made it at home? It was all about the visual in that one. <laughs> Who made it at home? I made it at home. All right. Was it cheese pretzels? <laughs> Damn, dude. That's one of them. Dude. Sure. And was it uh, leftover Taco Bell? No. It's a different circle. Omu Not rice. No, no. Tortilla. No. It's something that I can nuke. That's already pre-made. Lasagna? No. Like a... a personal pizza? No. Like a... Just like a breakfast sandwich? Close. Like a Jimmy Dean's Egg McMuffin or something? No. The sausage patty? No. What's one of my favorite fast food places? That's the type of food it is. Was it a McGriddle? You could only uh, used to get it on the West Coast, but now it's everywhere. It was a hamburger? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Was it a double double? <laughs> no. It wasn't no. a double double. Was it cheeseburger? No, <laughs> um, it's Patty's from Costco. Oh, it was my a homemade got... hamburger. I thought you said yeah. yeah. No, he made it at no. home. Oh, my bad. Made it at home. I was trying to be clever, you know. No, yeah, you got whatever. it, man. You got it. Thanks, man. I got it. You got hamburgers and you had pretzels with cheese on them. Yeah. Oh, guess what I had for breakfast, though? It's something not normal. Barbacoa? No. Fried chicken. <laughs> no. More on the sweet side. You had macaroni and cheese. <laughs> on the sweet side. <laughs> be sweet. Sweet macaroni sweet and cheese. Sweet macaroni and cheese. Buy one, get what? one. Sweet macaroni and cheese. The macaroni I mean, I guess are I little would... jello bites. Little gelatin. The cheese what? is also oh, jello. I don't like yeah. those. I don't like that stuff. It's cheese jello. Yeah, it's Did you cheese just have jello. Like, ice cream for breakfast? Very close. I had cake for breakfast. Ooh. Dang, cake for breakfast. That's how you nice. know you're living your best life. Yeah, man. Ladies, gentlemen, and scholars, take note. Cake for <laughs> breakfast, bitches. Burrito. Oh, what'd you have for lunch? Like a pro. All right, so I kind of spoiled you off for what I had for lunch today. But yeah, how would but you give it that to us on three clues? Boom, she. Uh, well, I was going to give uh, what I had over the weekend. Okay. Like, okay. Shit. Okay. Better, better. Shit. Okay. And tell the listeners again, um, a torta for lunch today. Dang. Hit them up. Yeah, I had torta. Pull pork. Cabana. Pulled back. I was, I was tortas. thinking about it for dinner. I was like, oh, man. Should I was I too. I'm to? not going to lie. What? You're I should have told you to pick some up, Art. Damn. <laughs> Damn we could have all had tortas that. today. We could have <laughs> done that. Damn. That would have been bomb, 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 bomb. Well, you they have good, bro. Quick that, review. That, you got that, 10 that seconds mango, to tell us about that torta. The mango hab habanero sauce was Eight. good. It was uh -huh. spicy, Seven. but not like overpowering. Six. The, the pulled pork Five. was good. It was it, the, the bread was, was soft. Three. It was, it was nice. It was good. Two. Oh! Like okay. Mid, mid chef. Mid chef. Middle, solid, solid, solid middle, middle of, the of the chef. chef. Damn. Yeah. Do they have barbacoa? Oh, maybe. They I have to. A torta. And barbacoa or torta. Do you remember what the choices were? Was it just steak, chicken, and pulled pork? Maybe you shredded know, chicken as well? I or do you just choose any meat they have? I time reading the Taco Cabana menu. You like, it's, all all your your smartphone. it's in Spanish. Like, Here's I your smartphone. It. It's in Spanish, that's why. So I was just like, can I get <laughs> one of the tortas? sexy ass down. And they were like, yep. Oh. Pull on up. And I was like, You just right. got random torta? Man, you just I, said torta? That's a default yeah. Yeah. torta yeah. Torta go around. They gave you the, like, the one that was, you know, that's been hanging out for a while. You think? No, man. It's got to be fresh, dude. Yeah. I'm sure it they made it, be. but if you're just it on torta, the line, you're just get. putting that stuff. That's, that's maybe what, what the first button on the torta is, is pulled pork, number one. Number they five is probably like barbacoa because they don't want to give that stuff away. <laughs> I mean, they That's want true. to because they sell it. But if you put but, it at the top of the list, that was a default. They there was a big sign so much that more. said, yeah. try our new torta. So maybe I didn't know there were different flavors. I thought it was just that they had torta on the menu. Different flavors. Have you ever had torta? Strawberry torta. Yeah. Yeah. But, you can like pick whatever you want in, as a filling. Guys, yeah, default to pull I didn't pork. know that. Tortas are just sandwiches. <laughs> there, right. I said it. I said it. They're delicious, though. They're, They're so delicious, delicious. 
But they're just know. sandwiches. Let's they're all be sandwiches. honest. They had a new one, and it was advertised as try our new. And that's the one they just gave you, I guess. Did you and also so, order a margarita, or have you had a margarita there recently? Uh, not recently. Because have you I ever? too had TC yeah, recently. I've, I've had, I've never been a but they have yeah. like 20 different flavors to choose from. It's just like a combination of this and that, I'm sure. Or maybe they can so. mix them like as singles somehow. What's your normal uh, Taco Cabana uh, get? Like, well, I usually go in the morning. Oh, so you the get breakfast, breakfast tacos? Stuff. Yeah, I get breakfast tacos. Yeah. Which ones? Steak Cabana uh, Bowl. Steak Cabana Bowl for sure. That's a good purchase. Tea. Solid purchase. You don't like that sausage? <laughs> they got sausages? Daddy, can I have some sausage? Not really. I do like the salsa bar though when it's open. It's not open right now. That's it's right, probably man. closed, man. Imagine What's your favorite like, salsa the dickheads that go through the drive-thru requesting their salsa. Like you I need kind of have to. Fuegos, two greens, the uh, couple picos. Foxtrot, he's insulting you. For a fact, I know you do that. You do that at the drive-thru. He hasn't been there since like it's been like this. I'm sure he I always do do went that. In. Oh, what? I need that brown what? salsa one. <laughs> Whatever that one is. Give is that, that the brown Fuego one? one? Is that the, is yeah, that the Fuego. One? Give me that brown Dude, one. Dude, that one's good. I'm about that ranch Fuego. life. Oh, you just want ranch? Ooh, straight up ranch? That peak, well, that, the ranch sauce. Oh, the, that the white, one. The white sauce. It's wet. Yeah, that shit got cum in it. <laughs> come, <laughs> come everywhere. All right, Art. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. We're still guessing what he had for weekend lunch. Oh, right. <laughs> weekend yeah. lunch. There's three Boom components chi. to this. Boom chi. Boom chi. Th three components went into making this. So, Boomchi, a Filipino dad. Jesus. Boomchi, an open flame. Jesus. And Boomchi, some pointed sticks. Oh, shit. Skewers. In a saw. Marinated pork skewers. In a saw, baby. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's that not a stick, good. there's only a few things it can be, but that's <laughs> yeah. an easy guess. It was good. And man. if it, and you it said knocked the dad me part out for like Filipino a couple dads, hours afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. All you do is stick yeah. that that meat on that fire. And the pork skewer <laughs> is the most bang for your buck. Oh, for sure. Like, you can't do the beef because the beef's very expensive. expensive. And then the chicken's just, like, not classy. So you got to go for yeah. that long pig. That bulgogi. <laughs> What's long pig bulgogi? What's that called? Long, long pig, pig bulgogi. bulgogi. K-pig. Bulgo oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! I'm about that K pig. There you go. Ooh. Are we still going through lunch, or? Yeah. Well, you have. Yeah, lunch. man. What do you have for lunch? <laughs> have? All right. Boom tree. We mentioned it earlier. Both hey, items. <laughs> no, I didn't have K pig. <laughs> you had K pig, and you didn't tell the rest of the class. <laughs> it was drive through, and Gemini said this is his go-to when he goes to this place. We just said it like a few minutes ago. Oh, and you get the banana bowl? Yep. Boom cheek, cabana bowl. Cabana bowls, man. Not exciting. All right. What did I do? Damn, that sounds good. Oh, wait. I did have a margarita through the drive thru, and we didn't detail on that. Dang. Did they put, a, did they put a tape on the straw? <laughs> no, nah, it's two separate things. You get the icy in a cup, and then a little. Oh, yeah, bottle. you mix it yourself. That's yeah, right. and you just dump it in there and stir it around. No shit. Like that's a smart. You're supposed like to mix it bill. when you get home. At your destination. <laughs> yeah. How easy is it just to pop that open at the stop? At the first stop. Just take it. Just take it. First Don't even light. put it in the slushie. You're an asshole. Yeah, no shit, right? Light. Yeah. We have evil minds when it comes to that. that well, I mean, that's what's really the point? Just like a, what's the point? I mean, you can wait till home. What's the point? <laughs> you got it you right now. Sexy ass what's down? the point? You are a smelly pirate hooker. Know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You got a margarote? <laughs> margarote? <laughs> Some roadhead. All right. Boom chi. I made this at home. Boom chi. It's Asian. Boom chi. I guess it's not rice. It's not rice. So get that out of your head. <laughs> you made some mm. pad thai noodles. Not pad thai. Ooh. <clears throat> Not Ponce. No, I don't do that. <laughs> not a lot of. <laughs> it's weird. I don't, do I don't like Ponce either. Do that. I mean, I like it, but I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, I never. It's a yeah. chore. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta love the art of making Ponce. <laughs> I have. A, love I love the art of eating it. 
Yeah, did you but make I some, make Did it. you make some soba noodles? Nah. <laughs> Was there noodles involved? Yes. Udon. Uchi, yes. No, no, udon. Was it Chow mein, motherfucker. It was lo mein. Lo mein. Lo mein. Was it fresh lo mein? Yeah, fresh out the freezer. <laughs> there you go. Shit. I got one hey, of those skillet that's things. That's fresh than instant, right? Yeah. Yeah. Have you not tried uh, frozen noodles yet? What are you talking yeah. about? I just did. They were no, frozen. burrito. Oh. No, I haven't yet. It's a little bit better. It's better. Yeah. Then try, I see try I see to him, boil. I see him at the K store. Yeah, oh. you gotta go to Next the K to the store, K man. Next to the K pig. Get that K pig. pig. Get that K pig and K noodles. Me. How much is K pig by the pound? Fifty nine ninety nine. I think it depends on cut, though. Yeah, you're right. It's all thick. What's the best cut of K pig? The butt. The butt? You sure? Actually, it's not. Not on a real K pig. Oh, let's hear it. <laughs> the tenderloin. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. I think we need a fortune teller. Jesus, no. <laughs> Tinder is the loin. It's the tenderloin. Gotta be. There's only one person in the world that can answer our <laughs> questions. <laughs> He's not coming out. This <laughs> motherfucker is staying home. <laughs> Alright, that was what I had for lunch. This is the news. Man jailed after crashing into marked police car with $145 million worth of meth in his van. What is this, amateur hour? You guys believe he actually had a $145 million worth of meth in his van? Bullshit! That, that seems, seems like, like a, a lot, lot of meth. Meth. That seems like a lot. What's meth much, even worth? How much does meth cost? Yeah. $10? <laughs> like a little big. Right? Like, I don't know. How much yeah. is a meth? What is one meth? <laughs> enough i guess I what's a, a, what's a unit of math right this is what we need yeah. a unit of math per dollar i'm gonna say one math per dollar okay you want a real answer or are you guys making this up real yeah, real. Answer. real. So, is it ten dollars like there's one, probably the, one the, meth you like meth to yeah you, usd yeah meth to usd there should be a currency converter there oh is. man <laughs> oh is there yeah let's hear it What's one meth? The burrito's accessing the terminal right now. Well, well there is. It, uh, are you looking for the gram <laughs> price, the eight ball price? Uh, well, I, I touched meth dose. to USD, but there's actually something called a, a milli ethereum. Uh huh. Oh. Is it crypto? Yeah, it's crypto. Oh, yeah. It's like ethereum. ethereum. Huh. Okay, let's hear it. Yeah. One meth. Uh, one meth one is meth. a single dose, about 0.25 grams. That's $20. Damn! So how many it's grams? It's eighty dollars a gram. Yeah, wow. that's what it says. On average, the price of crystal meth is eighty dollars a gram. So a kilogram okay, so, is eighty thousand so dollars. So do the like calculation. One of kilogram is forty-five million dollars. One kilogram is eighty thousand dollars. Okay, let's round that up to a hundred thousand dollars to make it real easy. So. So how many kilograms would he need, or has? Like fourteen thousand five hundred. Yeah. Fourteen thousand five hundred. Oh, did I miss a zero? I think so. Uh, I think it's 1,450. 1,450? 1,450 grams. And then 3.5 grams sorry. is an eight ball. No, no, that's just kilograms. <laughs> 1,450 kilograms in the truck. Yeah. That's three. That's a little over 3,000 pounds. That's doable. Yeah. 3,000 pounds? Yeah. That's a lot yeah. of pounds, dude. And an 18 wheeler? No, a van. Oh, a van? Ooh, Holy shit, a white van? man! That thing would fucking weigh the fuck down. A Three one and a half, half ton. Half ton. Half one ton. and a half tons of inside a van. Oh yeah, of meth in a van. Was it a white van? Dude, yes. that thing must have been low riding. What the fuck? Had Jesus to be Christ. scraping. <laughs> what is this? Amateur <laughs> That's going, like, like five, five big mamas. In the neighborhood over a hill. And the sparks. That is a lot of weight, man. Yeah. Why weight? I guess Julio has to make the police that. cars. That's that's hilarious. Well, I mean, it's probably because his the telemetry of his yeah his steering was all off. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm pretty sure all that. Was, yeah, just like yeah, a little. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't know how it slid anymore. You know. Speaking of sliding, <laughs> this lady slid down the wormhole of selfishness. Hmm. Selflessness. A woman who deliberately cut off her own hand in an insurance scam was jailed for two years. 
That's so <laughs> fucked up. What she was, was, was going to collect 925,000 pounds if she was successful in the scam. So the question is, would you do it for that much? A million bucks? For your offhand? Nah. Was it her offhand? Probably. I don't know. She did it herself. The stranger hand? I got a lot of fond memories with that one. Best of times. Best of times, worst of times, you know? <laughs> she kind of said know, she lost man. it in a bike accident. I don't yeah, think it's worth it. It just feels... I don't think it's like, worth it either, man. I like using yeah. both hands for things. Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's All really sorts of things. It's really handy. <laughs> Have you caught up on the latest season of Stranger Hands? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, shit, man. Where do you find that on? Twenty nine ninety five. I got caught <laughs> up on that new one, uh, Stranger Bikes. Stranger Bikes? Yeah, man. Like Akira, Ooh. like electric super bike concepts provide a glimpse to the future. One <laughs> single <laughs> glimpse. <laughs> one glimpse. One glimpse. <laughs> I'll have a glimpse into the future, please. That's what the show is called, Glimp. <laughs> glimp. <laughs> Are you sure you would <laughs> care glimp. for two? That's probably some weird ass three glimpses. Shit too. What is this amateur hour? Glimp. The glimp. I bet. What do you think uh, a just, glimp would be? I'm thinking of a, a very sleek. Jesus. Dark, ultra oh, Jesus. black. Yeah. Fucking fat, sporty, burly. Got missiles on it. It's gotta be Whoa. burly. Lasers. Whoa. Uh, That's a glowers. That's a fucking All glimp. sorts of shit. Homing missiles. Homing missiles. What are Oil we out the back. What are we talking about anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, man. I lost my shit. Already. That was one glimp. Maybe we're talking about some. Speaking of glimp. <laughs> Signs of alien life detected on Venus. Uh, microbes, unlike any life on Earth, could be thriving high in the clouds of Venus, according to a new discovery by astronomers. Tell us what your Venus like. <laughs> who's uh, who's from Venus? Women. Women. Yeah, that's obviously. Right. Men are know. from Mars. You're Mars, right. bitches. You like those red chips at Taco Bell? The yeah, Dorito I, chips? The uh, little crunchy things that they put as an ingredient in some of their The red items. tortilla chips. They're like little slices. It's just tortilla chips. Oh, those chips. things. Yeah. How about their own custom wine? Is it a Cabernet Sauvignon? Is it some type of Mountain Dew wine? <laughs> Is it Mountain Dew it's right? Baja oh, Blast dude. wine? Yeah, no, it's Baja Baja Dew Blast. Wine. It's Code Red wine. Do you oh, it's Code Red for sure. Yeah, Code Red. I totally yeah. forgot about that no, one. No, it's Code Merlot. Oh, shit. <laughs> Mountain Dew nice. Code Merlot. Like 1998. 98, 99. <laughs> <laughs> Did we ever figure out what kind of wine it was? I didn't this? read it. I didn't read this. Um, I didn't read this one either. It's called Jalapeno Noir. Shit, Jalapeno Noir? And it's the toast. I'm into it. Toasted cheesy chalupa is what you get with it. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, it's a pairing. You get it pair. paired? Oh, my shit, bad. I need this in my life now. What the fuck is this from? <laughs> Taco Bell. Future, man. Yeah, but Demolition what Taco man. Bell? The future. I think you, this I think you gotta future. order it. I think you gotta order it online. Wait, so they'll actually just bring it to your house? They drop ship it. It's drop shipped by a drone. <laughs> a by taco drone. drone? Yeah, man. They are the last surviving fast food joint on the planet. Is this accessible to me? Yes. Yes? Yes, right now. Now <laughs> selling its own custom wine. Jalapeno Noir. This is how they in get the you bank. to use their app and take all your information. <laughs> yeah, I'm into it. They can have my information for some Jalapeno Noir. And then we'll need a review. <laughs> Speaking of Jalapeno Noir, this guy was Jalapin somebody's business. <laughs> Panty Thief gets unexpected surprise after police reveal Thong is not what it seems. The teenagers learn a lesson he won't soon ever forget. What is this? It was a thong for dudes. Yeah. That was the hook. <laughs> Tell us about a burrito from the scene. Time to suck today's right. dick. Yeah, there was, a, there was a kid that rolled up on a balcony and tried to take a, some, or actually he did make off with a thong and, and he didn't realize it was the dad's thong. <clears throat> so yeah, and then so he was he like, all... what? That's for the guy? <laughs> he went all Cisco. 
Damn. Damn. Look at that dress so scandalous. Shaking that shit like who's the bitch? That's dangerous shit. She was living La Vida Loca. It it scared him so bad it turned his hair silver. Oh no. (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of Japan, do you think this would work in the US? There is a new unstaffed gyoza store in Tokyo that sells pot stickers 24 hours a day. 100%. The trick is, the trick is, it is honor system. It's not like electronic oh. payments. There's a box with a slit and you just okay, no, put okay. the money in. See, that is the hookup. That's not going to work right there. <laughs> but a kiosk, a gyoza kiosk, yeah. Yeah. that could work. Or run that. by robots. There's some sort of mechanism where it can make them and serve them and sell them all in kind of one thing. Nah, just just like an ATM, but with gyoza. A gyoza brothel. A gyoza TM. <laughs> Call it gyoza TM. Two mouth. Gyoza two mouth. This shit sells itself. <laughs> shit. It's we got dim sum too. <clears throat> and dim sum. I thought it was gyoza really cool. and you dim sum. You have to go. Uh, you have to make it though. It comes to you frozen. Like you, you get it out of the freezer and then you gotta what go. Is this amateur hour? Well, the gyoza to go? Yeah. Hey, man, that's okay. What if you, you have just, a party? That's cool. It's free. You just right? got it from like <laughs> from yeah. the grocery store? Yeah, why don't you just go to the store and get it? Yeah. Because those aren't 24 hours. What if you're like getting out of the karaoke and you're like, man, I'm fucking hungry. Where, where did you man. get this 24 hours? Huh? What? I thought you said you had this, but it's frozen. No, it's in <laughs> Tokyo. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not in Tokyo. That'd be kind of cool. If I was. Well, I'm not. No, but if we were in Tokyo, possibly Japan, I don't really know. All plant based katsu curries arrive in Japan. <laughs> and Ikea. God, yeah, that was Ikea. <laughs> Ikea. Oh, shit. This is their version of Swedish meatballs. <laughs> I'd be okay with oh, that. Oh, dude, I would totally eat this. Fuck yeah, man. It's all plant katsu curry. I mean, it's, like, yeah. it's kind of like a soupy mess thing that you mix with rice, and it's more of a texture yeah. and flavor thing, not really the fact that it has meat in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you eat meat, you're yeah. really focusing on that, what you're eating of. That yeah. Thing. Plus, when you have the. This is like a combination of when stuff. When you've had the katsu. It's all crunchy and stuff. Yeah. The katsu, yeah. the chicken and the pork, they relatively taste the same. Oh, you can make. Dude, making curry is so easy. Yeah. Tell me about dude, it. It's the easiest shit ever, man. Tell me about it. I can't, man. It's no, secrets, what? You, know? you just get the box. That's right. That's it. Well, I'll tell you the real box. secrets it's only if pack. I can get my fortune told. No, I don't know. But maybe oh, for shit. a later episode. I don't maybe for a later episode. Time. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. I got my own secrets. Okay. I'm going to save my token to I the got fortune teller. my own secrets. How many tokens do you get a month or a year? Fucking, actually, five, but. I just hold on to him. You spent those up a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> you only have yeah. five. Five a season. <laughs> <laughs> and they roll over minutes. <laughs> yeah, they are roll over too. We were talking oh. about people loving mirrors earlier. Yeah, we oh, were. Yeah, look at that. Uh, I think this guy, this guy loves his mirror a little too much. Man used mirror to spy on bathroom in Gloucester. Township. Township. <laughs> I was going to say twit. <laughs> Gloucester Twip. Gloucester Twip. It was a cool. secret mirror. A so secret me. mirror? In a women's restroom. Wait, wait, wait. Secret yeah. mirror. Tell me about the secret mirror. So it was a mirror that uh, was like in the ground that you can only see from like up a certain in the angle. AC vents. So this oh. pervert would just crawl up in there. Wait in the vents? Yeah. <laughs> How would he explain all the <laughs> dust on himself when he got out? Oh, he keeps it clean. He's the maintenance man. Oh. That one area is like nice and clean. It says, the, sorry, I didn't, yeah, I didn't read even, the rest of it. Even a like, man who took did the Kleenex HVAC up there. work. Oh. oh, that's a middle school. That's fucked up, man. Yeah, seriously, it's bad. Oh, you didn't even include that part. Yeah, we could have just like laughed about it and then you said it's a middle school. Now this. I'm sorry. This fucking. It's disgusting and it's a felony. You told me to read the news. Nobody ever told you to do that. I'm just re- <laughs> We read headlines. <laughs> Sometimes we make that's up why, the news. That's why the rest of it's not in bold. <laughs> it's a suggestion. Yeah, this could have been the mall. So you doom scrollers. New website aims to help you cut back on doom scrolling. It redirects you to Pornhub. <laughs> That's no, what it should be. <laughs> you gotta go Next story. yourself to a happy place. Next story. Do you really want to know what it is, though? 
No, I don't care about no. it. <laughs> it's just a Pornhub redirector. It's a Pornhub redirector for <laughs> all I care. It's Pornhub. <laughs> Only fans in Pornhub. You know, and it shows you what's trending. You might see a ball gut, but maybe that's your thing now. Shit. You know what was the thing back in the 2000s? What? What? Saggy pants. Yeah. Jinkos. Bag and sag. Bag and sag. And so, like 2007, Florida banned it. Yeah, I remember that. Can't sag. Really? I remember <laughs> that. That was an attack on street violence. <laughs> was it? Was it a That's war on they drugs? Said. It was on. It was a war on drugs. Yeah. And after 13 years, they repealed it. They pulled it back because no one's doing that anymore, really. They Everybody has down? regular pants now. They Did pulled they pull it, it down. They pulled it down. There you go. <laughs> They pulled down the bag and sag laws. <laughs> you definitely don't want to sag when you're flying in a jet. Nah, the Chinese J31 5th Gen Stealth Fighter may be a total F-35 ripoff. Of course Dang, it would be, god damn it. They got all the plans anyway. Let me, hold on, they let me check this out. They might as well build their own one. them, the F-35 can't even fly. Oh. What, the Raptor? Oh. <laughs> oh. Really? Is that what they say now is? I mean... Uh -oh. Is it can fly. Dude, are you, wait, you're, not, you're not telling me information. Do we have a jet no, expert right? in we the house? We got fucking inside scoop. Spill the beans, burrito. F-35, piece of shit Yeah, I gotta not. hear this. I, I'm all about the airplane. Should we shit. invest in F-35s? We go to the burrito. I don't know. Maybe they should... What's uh, the new new? Spend, spend money on, on things that already work. They were having some trouble with it. The last I heard, and this is maybe a couple years old, maybe they fixed it. They couldn't get like the targeting system to work. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> real basic yeah. on a warplane. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys. Maybe that's why they gave the plans to China. <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> Speaking of China. <laughs> Speaking of, man moves into a new house and finds out it's covered with massive Simpsons murals on the outside. Did this happen in China? Wait. You How the fuck? It, hold on, time out. How the fuck are you gonna move into a house <laughs> and then realize, hey, wait, there's <laughs> Simpsons murals all over the outside? I gotta hey, explain this one, what? dude. The color of the house is like it's so obvious. Like, <laughs> tell me about it. What happened here? So it this is like one a fortune teller like... lives there. Ah, <laughs> that guy's buried underneath the floorboards. So they what? have those virtual tours. Like people don't even need to go check out a property anymore. They have these virtual tours. Yeah. So they must have done this virtual tour so perfect that they never showed that Simpsons mural, and whoever was buying it was just convinced. Side unseen. It. Yeah, exactly. And then they Side unseen. closed the deal. It was theirs. Handshake deal. And then you finally get to see it, and it's got some shit painted on the side, which you know is not so bad, but for a house, it's a little odd. Is it Matt yeah. Groening's home? No, nah. it's not. Uh, oh. His would be like legit. I think it's some Simpson super fan. Yeah. <laughs> super, super, duper fan. Is it in China? Sight unseen. It's wherever you want it to be. China UK. Slam City. <laughs> so it's in Springfield. Springfield. Yeah. On Evergreen UK. Terrace. UK. There you go. Did someone say they had frozen pizza earlier? Nobody said that. No one nope. said that. <laughs> someone had a circle though. Yeah, it was a burger. A burger. However, Altoona <laughs> Man. <laughs> Threw frozen pizzas at store manager after mask wearing dispute. Not Altoona. Apparently, Man, it's not Altoona. It's <laughs> not Altoona. It's not Altoona. <laughs> this is not how grown ups settle disputes. You don't throw frozen pizzas at the store manager. You just leave. Bitch. Because you, you don't want to wear a mask. What is, is that what this is about? This is what's about. Yeah. Man, he said, hey, you got to wear a mask. And the guy says, nah, man, I'm Pizza Ninja. I don't have to. Now he's but under Pizza arrest. Pizza Ninja would technically wear a mask. Pizza Ninja. Oh, exactly. Man. Exactly. That's the fucking atrocity about this entire situation. Is that Pizza Ninja would wear a mask. Pure and simple. <laughs> Damn. What color is Pizza Ninja's outfit? Pepperoni. <laughs> oh, no. the pepperoni. He has dishonored his family. He has. Oh my god. You guys have a story here about the pepperoni ninja? I think you know his. <laughs> story. It's the like The pepperoni. Oh man. No, I got nothing. No. But there are nightmares coming your way. Pringles try to wake from recycling nightmare. Kellogg's redesigns the snack food container that was dubbed the number one villain for recycling. 
Oh no shit. It was entirely. Oh, you know why? Because you can make a flashlight out of these things. <laughs> yeah. Man. That's so why. why would you ever throw <laughs> it away? That's yeah. recycling. It is that's recycling. Upcycling. Yeah. Repurposing. That's upcycling and that's glamping. What is this <laughs> yeah. yeah, you definitely want to take this glamping because like yeah. you gotta get rid of the evidence real quick. <laughs> Hey, easy I'm just peasy. eating some Pringles, man. I'm Shit. just eating Pringles, man. Glamping. But nobody knows that it's, you know, glamping. You know? That's yeah. not a glamping. Well, wait, wait, why is it upside cans. down then? <laughs> What's stuffed in this thing? Do you I keep the, the Pringles in it? It's, it's your choice. It's your choice. If Player's you're in a hurry, choice. you can dump them, or if hey. you got time, you can eat them. You know? Player's choice. You know? Exactly. Player's choice. The ones choice. at the bottom are probably going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> you can mix it with some ice cream. Strategically. Oh man, ice cream, yes. Now there is uh, some iconic Indomie Goreng stir fry noodle ice cream flavor. That sounds crazy. Uh, You'll have to find it and report back. Some ice cream flavored noodles. I would that try sounds it. right up Foxtrot's alley. I would try it. There's, those oh noodles shit. Are really From the scene. You out there, buddy. From All the scene. expenses paid. Cart really? blanche! That doesn't seem like there's. A, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I need that much money to go here. You get to have whatever you want on that menu. Where am I going, pilot? We just Jakarta. landed. Yeah. <laughs> in the <laughs> oh, this Indomie is capital of the world. In the Indomie capital of the world. So I'm here. Uh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> Down at the scene in the Indomie capital of the world, Foxtrot. <laughs> I can't contain myself. I'm about to eat some Indomie Goreng flavored ice cream. Oh my god. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That was rough. Well, that pay your rough. water bill with whatever we pay you. <laughs> yeah, you know what else is rough? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I know what's rough. Uh, having to pay $750,000 for 27 years of <laughs> unbilled water. Jesus. 27 uh, fucking years? The deal calls for both the city and Rawa. To receive three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars from the county in lump sum payments. Oh, it's for the whole county. Bullshit. Ah. man, what kind of story is that, man? That's, that's a person? bullshit story. Yeah, that's like twenty-seven thousand dollars a month. That's not that much yeah. for a whole county. Break it down. Six. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a lot of toilet flushing. Teen <laughs> bitten on the penis. By snake while sitting on the toilet. Man, was this in China? Oh, did that pe did oh, that snake go up his penis? Sick. Jesus. <laughs> a teenager was rushed to the hospital after a 1.2 meter python. It's not America. It says AU. So I'm guessing Australia. Oh yeah, that makes Australia. sense. Australia. 1.2 meter salt. python hiding in the toilet bit his penis, <laughs> leaving quote unquote <laughs> blood spurting everywhere. Monkeys out of the bottle, man. Ooh. What do you guys think? I would hate to be in that position. And how did he make the news? Who ratted him out? He probably put it on his Instagram. <laughs> That's how all these stories Oi. get. It's gotta be Oi. on that. This oh snake. shit, at the scene. <laughs> my snake. Shit. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. This snake bit his snake. <laughs> all right. <laughs> now we gotta name this guy. I got nothing, man. Yeah. No, no, no. no you just go on to the next okay. story. My massive 42 liter. <laughs> 42 liter? Jesus. Oh, 42L. I think it's 42L. Is the <laughs> 42, liter. 42 liter titties. 42L. It's like a swimming pool. My massive 42L boobs caused my spine to collapse and left Monkeys me wheelchair bound. Man. Yeah, those fuckers gotta 40. be heavy, man. Shit. So, Did you I, click I through? Yeah. yeah. 26 years old. Those are 42L boobs. They're so big. And they caused your spine to collapse all that's the same thing. <laughs> that sucks. What do you think? Sure. Keep them or leave them. Did you get them fixed? <laughs> true or false? True or false? True. True? No, no. Oh, no, no. False. False? I don't know. <laughs> Before or after? Um. Wait, what are we after. talking about? True or false? <laughs> after. I think it's true, though. <laughs> Before or after? <laughs> oh, my God. I think it's true. Like mushroom covered <laughs> coffins? A growing business, Dutch developing living coffin made of mushroom mycelium. I guess they make you into mushroom mm. food. Zero waste. Oh, I guess. Yeah, non-GMO. Biodegradable. In, Free range. You in a coven? Guys, yeah. I'm gonna say it's, false. It's gonna bio, bio yeah, you. false. It's a false. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> before, before and after, I just didn't want to be mean about it. <laughs> and if you know what they're talking about, let us know and we'll send you a sticker. Yeah, that will ask you where you stuck it. So, you guys like this drone delivery that's going to be all the rage? I guess. Yeah, I got some uh, Pringles dropped off by a drone. Did you really? Pretty sweet, yeah. For your glamping? Yeah, for your glamping. <laughs> Dude, I've I've hmm. actually had a craving for Pringles, like legit. What, what, what flavor? What flavor is your <laughs> shit? Sour cream and onion is legit, but I think it'd be the sour cream and cheddar ones. You know what I mean? The orange they ones. They have Pringle ones. Yeah. Yeah, I know what he's talking about. Oh. Yeah. Legit. That's the one that is either Something. out or has like two left. Yeah. Oh, and you gotta gank those. Both of gank them. Four for five. How about you guys? What do you think? Flavors I always get Pringles? the pizza one, even though it's not good. <laughs> the pizza one tastes like vomit after you eat too many of them. That's true. That's why that's you can't true. eat too many of yeah. them. Um, they make the sour, it out of vomit. The sour cream one. Yeah, oh, sour cream and onion. Oh, chicken fries. Yeah. Barbecue like the baked potato decent. one. Baked potato is pretty good. Burrito, Pringle. I like barbecue flavored anything. Wow. Barbecue flavor? Controversial. Like when you say barbecue flavor, that's a wide spectrum. Like Casey Masterpiece? Oh shit! There's like the sweeter barbecues Casey going on. Then there's there's the, uh, Korean. Uh -huh. There's yeah. K Pig vinegar barbecue. Jesus. Do they, do they have those different flavors in Pringles? I guess they do. They yeah, have they do. barbecue. I they think got whatever they got you need. Carolina white I really, sauce I barbecue. I don't really eat Pringles. Oh so no. Oh no. You you just use those tubes for other things. Yeah. Huh? I don't know what they got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He I just I, I it, buy them, it out. But I just <laughs> But then they it all just goes well, in the it trash. Just feeds it to the pigeons. Stupid pigeons. Hey, at least the pigeons will get something. Isn't, what is this? That's isn't awful. that just the pack and peanuts? Yeah, the pack and oh. peanuts are the fucking <laughs> 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 the makeshift fleshlight. It's, it's just, just the pack and peanuts. They, they put in there to so, so it, it stays it rigid, shape, yeah. You know? So it keeps huh? its shape. Yeah. So you can have guaranteed freshness. <laughs> Oh guaranteed circumference. It's called the guaranteed <laughs> circumference guarantee. <laughs> you know. How about those stacks? The Lay's version of Pringles? Yeah, I, they come in plastic though. I don't. Yeah. I don't get it. They're more biodegradable. I don't get it. Biodegradable. I don't get it. I, you know, I don't get it. Well, maybe we'll find out uh, during a secretive Pentagon research program that looks into replacing human hackers with AI. <laughs> Shit. It's, it's a, a joint, joint. It's That'll a be the joint first operation. Exactly. The Pringles. Dang, dude. So, Quantimino, it, man. It's, it's a joint operation. Than... Yeah. Are you guys okay with that? Yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, why not? There we go. <laughs> How about these uh, sweet breakfasts? Tell mm -hmm. me about these sweet breakfasts. Ah, uh, there's another joint operation. Shit. Between Reese's peanut butter cups. And potato chips. Shit. Well, what kind of potato chips, though? Ruffles. I, I Ruffles? don't know. Is it Ruffles? Ruffles. So it's just Reese's peanut butter cups, but they've got potato chips inside. Hmm. I don't know. Ruffles. It gotta be Ruffles. What else can I don't it be? How I feel about this. Yeah, it's. I would rather have it. It separately. feels trashy. I'd rather have potato chips than have dessert. You know. You can eat them simultaneously. I don't think you. I have don't to, want to, man. I don't think you have to meld them together make a s'mores so it's a chip and then a peanut butter cup and another chip there you go i feel like that's not it. well balanced yeah probably not you would need like <clears throat> two chips on each side at least at least oh man with ice cream oh shit. yeah ramen ice cream oh jesus christ that actually might taste good possibly all right guys that was the news Oh, so last night, I filled my moat. Well, that felt so good, I filled it again. Oh, it's my moat rod. Now, you might know me from that time of job. We're about rabbit terrorizing city. Or maybe I electrocuted you or, or someone in your family accidentally. Now, you might be thinking, moat rod, how do you do it? Well, that's no secret. This is daddy juice. Hey, buddy. You look a little tired. Feeling run down? Maybe it's time to crack open a fresh can of daddy juice to help you finish strong. Still sucking on your first one? No sweat. Double fisting is never a bad idea. So take a daddy juice in each hand and let that soothing jolt of energy wash all over your face, neck, and chest like a calm tsunami. It'll make you say, Oh, mommy. 
Eddie Juice comes in delicious flavors like salted plums, peach straw, nectar, and white honey. Daddy Juice will calm you down and fuck you up. Daddy Juice, take it to the face. What did we learn this week, guys? I heard Arthur learned something. He was very emphatic about it. That Godzilla toys don't make price differences, oh. whether they're in the box or not. I guess yeah, that's that seems what it crazy was. to me. Well, I, I found that know. really interesting, though. I don't know if there's much of a counterfeit market. <laughs> there's got to be. Is there like, not? Fascinating, there, because there in the rest some, of the collector's universe, legs. it's like keeping yeah. it in the original box greatly increases its value. That's, that's what, what I'm thinking, man. Protects it from dust, cum, you know, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> the elements, as they were. <laughs> Dust and cum, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they say, protect us from the elements. That's what they mean. You know, we that. just come out and say it. Bring Dust and cum. Ali Lee was in Street Fighter. I learned that Ming-Na Wen was is. in the Jean-Claude Van Damme Street Fighter. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Now you gotta she go was. back and watch it. She was now M. Bison. Watch it, yeah. She was M. Bison, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my, you know, we have the game over. Game over! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I think I was thinking of the, the that other Chun Li movie. Jesus. Oh man, the I don't even know who one. was in that. It was called <laughs> The Legend of Chun Li. Yeah. Uh, there was another movie. Uh, yeah. It oh, came out man. maybe less than ten years ago. Yeah. It was bad, right? Yeah, it's pretty recent. Hey, it got it forgotten quick. <clears throat> I think it's yeah, as good as so. Dragon Ball Z movie. Mm. Oh shit, that's right. There is a Oh man, that's yeah. horrible. You guys learn anything else this week? Yeah, but I forgot. Well then you didn't learn it. And you heard it here first. <laughs> Get higher than high gravity. Forget zero calorie, this is zero gravity. Quench your thirst with a zero. A zero gravity beer from Slam City Brewery. Brewed in a perfect vacuum cut out of the Rockies. We blew a giant fucking hole in the sky. More loco than four loco. It's 69 loco. Our 24 ounce cans now have shotgun pull tabs at the bottom for faster delivery. Butt funnels available, but sold separately. Everyone's entitled to the truth. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Slam City Radio. Get in touch with us through our contact form at SlamCityRadio.com. We'll send you a sticker, then we'll ask you where you'll stick it. Subscribe, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, all day, every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. I said split. Check the scene, you turkeys. Get out of my I'll see y'all tomorrow. This ends now! Oh shit. Was that too much? Hit him up! Fuck, bitch! Nice job, guys. Nice. That was a fairly efficient show. 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 Show.